Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today I'm playing Orgul in Project 1999. So there's been a lot of things going on on the server as well with my character, characters, characters. <laughs> I said that several times because of the fact that I have been playing all kinds of characters because of some issues I've had over the last few days on Orgul. So I'm not 34 yet. I'm 31, which means I'm three levels into the five level gap <laughs> between spells. So once I get into the next level, hopefully the next few will go pretty fast because I'll be able to take mobs that I couldn't take at this level. So right now I'm at the Trent Camp in South Karana. And um, I've been playing in High Hole Pass or keep rather and I've not not that I haven't had gr uh, good group mates it's that the groups that I've had in high pass have been um, only good for her certain amount of time and then um, we break up uh, I'm gonna get hurt oh he is feared <laughs> okay <laughs> I didn't think it was feared there for a second um, so like tonight we had a great group. We had two necromancers, me and another, a mage, a rogue, a shaman, feared up, feared up. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not paying attention. I should have uh, already dotted him with everything else. Uh, he is uh, boiled blood. Okay, so he has a. Oh, let's go ahead and get leech on him. Leech. I like to save the last uh, spell to be life tap just so that I can finish him off. And here he goes. He's going to hit me with that stupid root. Oh, he hit me with snare, so that's good. I'm, I'm better with <laughs> having snare on me um, than I am having that root. That's a good two or three minute root <laughs> that he casts. And if you are almost dead, then that's that's never good for you. These drop a lot of gold, um, so that's awesome. They also drop gems, they drop a staff uh, worth probably about 5 to 10 plat. Just a really good money camp, but it also a really great experience. So, what has been happening on the server? Well, the sleeper is awake now, which has a lot of implications to how things are going to be happening on the server. Now, there is a plague or curse, as it were, that is uh, in, I know for a fact, North Karana. I don't know if it's in West Karana, but it, the whole zone is greenlit. And that is because the sleeper was awoken. Now, the sleeper is, um, is the biggest dragon in the game. The considered, considered rather, to be unkillable uh, even if you had every member on the server attack it at one time it hits for a lot of damage um, I believe a warrior can probably take two hits and a um, shaman I know can only take one hit and so forth so it's a very mean dragon but because it was awoken there are things that don't drop in the game anymore. Primal weapons, which have decent stats, um, great damage delay, but also cast Avatar on you, which is a um, an attack and I believe also an AC buff or an attack haste buff. So it's a really nice item that we can't get anymore. Or maybe it's not the primals. I know that... Um, I believe at one point in live the primals went away, but maybe it was misinformation. I know for a fact though, the scepter of destruction won't drop anymore. There's a dagger that won't drop anymore. There's a list of items that won't drop anymore. Also, I don't know if it's now or if it's going to happen soon, but at some point she will she or he the sleeper will start attacking randomly uh up in northrath which means that you could be sitting here waiting for mana to kill this trent 
and then you're struck down by the sleeper. Fun times are about to happen on the server. So it was the Rampage that actually did it. And um, they said pretty much that they were getting to a point that they were um, wanting to go ahead and end on a high note, if you want to call that, or a note at which um, people <laughs> would be mad at them because uh, they pretty much took and said that um, they don't want anyone else on the server to be able to have certain items. They were the highest um, uh, holder of keys for the sleeper zone. So they did essentially ruin their own um, ability to get items. Uh, but anyway, um, there are Rampage members who have been in East Commons lately. And they have been showing off their scepters of destruction and um, all kinds of other things have been going on. So another thing is um, there have been updates to Vilius helmets. You can actually see them now where you could not see them before for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. Dot them twice. And then um, save mana for a fear, I guess. Because I'm pretty much living off fear of it. I'm living off of just the ability to keep these things moving. Um, I, I don't... What in the world? I'm, I'm so not paying attention to anything tonight. Uh, there we go. Is he not feared? He's stunned. Okay, he's going still. All right. Let's go ahead and hit him up with this, and he should start to run. He's tried to snare or fear me, or not fear me, uh, root me, but he um, did not land it. So, yeah, so now helmets are in the game, which are awesome. It is talked about that. And it's been talked about that um, the Hogrush beads will be nerfed or they are already nerfed because of the fact that there's another item that is dropping now from the Hogrush which only started dropping after they were nerfed. If I remember correctly, I might be wrong. It, it's an item that has identify on it which is an insta-click. So, um, yeah. So that's that's dropping now and um yeah so all the server is is going to be uh different for a little bit as far as um as far as zones go um not too much though um as far as or rule goes um trents are going to be sustaining me for a while i'm at 67 percent which is where i was when i died earlier <laughs> so no more death loops. No more death loops. That's all I got to say about that. Um, so I also have been doing other characters. I am reviving Fever. For those of you who know Fever, he's my wizard who's level 40. And I pretty much stopped posting videos about him because of the fact that I hit the wall at 40 and just said, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and gear my Shadow Knight. And now that my Shadow Knight is now 39, I'm looking at that and saying, you know, uh, it is, it would be more respectful not only to um, Fever as my character, but also to you all that Fever be at least out of hell level before I take another tune into level 40. Now, a Shadow Knight can probably get out of 40 pretty much, uh, pretty fast. Uh, not pretty much or pretty fast, uh, faster than the wizard can because he can get in a group and just stay there until he's out of uh, hell level. Where the wizard, I've been having problems getting him groups in, say, City of Mist, and the experience in uh, Dreadlands is not very well. That's not good at all. So, <laughs> um, Also, if you care about it or not, um, I've, been, I've been playing on the red server. I made a character uh, named uh, Drachmir Vital. He doesn't have his last name yet, but he will at some point. 
Um, a group of friends, me and myself, are making a guild there. Uh, if it is approved by the GMs, and if uh, if so, then we're going to be an all evil uh, guild. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, I'm only level 7 right now, and I'm actually not even posting those videos on this channel. I'm posting them on another channel that is dedicated as a role-playing um, channel, I guess you would call it. And it's called uh, the Teradal Emporium. So uh, I'll put a link to it uh, in this video only. After that, if... Um, uh, after that, I won't post anything else about it. I, I really don't even want to link the two channels together. It's more of um, this is me playing me on on this channel and on that channel. It's me more of a role play aspect trying to kill all good people. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, let me know. But either way, peace out.